Hello, welcome to this coaching video. Um, we have a Donate Kingdom, which is why this was sent in, with Cursed Gold. Uh, a lot of different things going on here. Um, Fortress is really nice with the Altar and Animal Fair. Donate is really good for trashing. Guard Dog could potentially draw a lot of cards. Like if you play King's Court Guard Dog, it draws eight cards, which is nice. Um, so where do we start? We're going to donate turn one or two. Um, possibly this is a kingdom where I should get a spreadsheet out and go through some of the donate math. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I put together a spreadsheet here. Um, so if we say turn one donate, then turn one, we have five debts. And we donate down to, say, cursed gold, four coppers. So then turn two, and we say cursed gold, three coppers. Turn two, we pass our debt. We only have one coin, we can't buy anything, and our deck is cursed gold. Three coppers, curse. Uh, that's turn. Right, so then turn three, we hit six money always because we only have a five card deck. And we can buy altar. And then turn four, we hit some amount of coins. Um, if we don't, if we bottom deck a curse or a copper, we hit at least five coins. And we can say buy lab. Trash, curse, or copper in two. And we can look at the kingdom and say what we want. Probably mark it because we want to get a plus buy quickly so we can start doing fortress into animal fair. However, I can also believe in just in fortress so we can get immediately get an animal fair off of fortress. But I think either fortress or market. Um, and maybe we buy one, buy market, buy fortress. So that's that's that one. Um with the three with the split that I have. Let's look at turn two donate. So turn one, we buy silver. Turn two, we have six coins. So we end turn two with two debt. And we donate down to cursed gold, silver, two coppers. So turn three, we play the cursed gold. And, yeah, there are actually two curses in this deck now. So this deck here is Cursed Gold, three Copper, two Curse, Altar. So there's a lot of unfortunate bottom decks there um, in that line. With this line, turn three, we have seven money. So we hit five coins. Um, and we can buy... So because we're hitting five coins, I really want to hit six coins. So I think I'm going to keep three coppers there. Um, so then that gives us eight money. So we hit the six coins there. And we buy altar. And our deck state is cursed gold, three copper, silver, curse, altar. So that seems like a pretty strictly better line if we're playing the cursed gold both of those turns. Um... There are other things we can do. We can do turn three, zone eight, where we buy silver and then buy altar. And then depending on how much money we have, turn three, well, we're always going to donate down to altar. Cursed gold, silver, copper, copper. We're always going to donate down to that five card hand. Um, and then we're thinning a card every turn and playing the cursed gold every turn. So on turn four, we may still have to pay off debt, but we're just going to be able to get a value card. And on turn... Yeah, so say we draw four coins um, on turn four here. So we, we still we have four debt here. Um, and depending on... Likely, if we hit Curse Gold turn three, if we hit Curse Gold Silver Alt or something. Obviously, if we hit Alter or Curse Gold turn three, we're in quite good shape. And then we alter something into something. Um, buy something. So I think it's for player one, I actually like the turn three donate. Um, I think as player two, I like the turn one, the turn two donate. Um, but I think as player one, I'm pretty happy to, to do the, the turn three donate um, with the altar in the deck. Yes, yeah, so this is fine because we can donate and pay off our debts. Okay, and as I said, we go down to 
exact cards in deck. And we will start by taking a market, I guess. And we can grab another silver, I suppose. We're going to grab a lab next turn, if we can. Uh, yeah, so we'll grab a lab here, and actually with, with, with seven, we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a king's court. And we can even king's court the market. Actually, let's, let's undo that. Let's think about that. If I'm going to king's court the market, I might as well play the lab first. Okay, yeah. So now I can play the market, and I can just king's, king's court the altar. That seems much better. And take. We wanted to get one fortress. We want to get another lab. And we want to get another market, I suppose. Buy the fortress. Okay, so now King's Court in the market seems fine. And we can alter this curse into anything we want. Um, Bard actually seems like a reasonable card for the deck at this point. Play the bard. Uh, just kidding. It's actually uh, actually do. It's just, this is that was the worst worst thing for the deck, I suppose. All right, so we're gonna buy a king's court and an animal fair now, and another animal fair, and I think we're gonna stop here. Notice the animal fair puts. It. I think we're gonna stop here. All right, we have king's court this market. Fortress, lab, fortress, lab. Okay. So I can King's Court the Animal Fair now. Go to the bar and see what we get. King's Court this Animal Fair. Animal Fair, Altar Curse into Lab. So we miss out on some Animal Fairs this turn. Uh, we take two King's Courts and two Labs. Wow. I didn't think this bad of a draw was possible. Uh, here we just take another King's Court. Triple the King's Court. Now we triple the Lab. Now we triple the Lab. Triple the King's Court and we just triple the Animal Fairs. And this should actually be a three pile on something or other. One imagines. Um, how close am I? to that. I can alter three things into labs and then play three markets. I'm getting to nine buys. Let's go for that. Just into lab. This fortress is quite nice to take labs. Uh, we had one more king. Okay, we even have another king still. So, uh, yeah, so this is actually a three pile on labs and animal fairs if you want it to be. Let me spend my coins so it doesn't ask me anymore. Too many labs. Uh -huh, just go ahead and trash them all or trash the fortress either way. You can also have bought out the estates. This is kind of a fun way to do it. I had one really bad draw in there. Um, my turn nine draw was atrocious, and I, and I probably would have lost this game to a human player. Um, my turn seven draw, I have a couple of really awkward draws, um, where I'm finding the King's Court late in the turn. But um, once the deck is online, we saw this is turn, uh, turn 10, and I'm just emptying all the piles. And if I had wanted to build one more turn, I would have added in a bunch more animal fairs and king kinged all the animal fairs. Um, and I could have kinged the bard, I could have, could, could have done all sorts of stuff. So in the end, um, you know, by turn 10, no other strategy is going to be going to be close to this donate strategy. And um, yeah, once I emptied the curse pile and then the lab pile, the animal fairs are generating tons of extra buys. Um, that's worth noting, actually, if I king the altar first to empty a pile somehow, empty another pile, I can potentially get more buys. But um, that's King's Court for you. King's Court's a super powerful card. It donates a super powerful card. I don't know how important to doing this math here was um, 
for people who are, who are listening or watching this, but the top players will do this math in their head um, before the kingdom starts. I probably would have settled on turn two donate in my head. It didn't quite work out. And the turn one donate, you forget you have two curses in the deck and not one in turn four. So that's also something to work out. Um, but turn two donate makes a lot of sense. And obviously if you have a different seed and you, you have cursed gold on turn one, so you can imagine if your turn one draw, you have, say, cursed gold, three coppers, state, then you donate and you have this two debt here going into turn two, and then you um, keep um, six money probably. Um, you might even keep less money than that. I'm not 100% sure. You might just keep cursed gold and copper. No, maybe just keep Chris Gold three coppers and then buy Fortress on turn two. Um, and then turn three, you um, gain Animal Fair, probably, or buy Altar. Um, you can do one of those two things. Animal Fair off of the Fortress. Um, I was trying to decide if you have some, if you have a four, and honestly, if you have like turn one where you have uh, four coppers, you can consider doing Fortress on turn one. And then turn to donate, and you have three debt left. And you donate down to Fortress, Cursed Gold, nothing. And then turn three, you buy, um, you pay debt with Cursed Gold, and you buy Animal Fair using the Fortress. And then turn four, your deck is, yeah, Fortress, CG, Animal Fair. Um, curse, and then you buy altar on turn four. Um, and then you have two curses in the deck, but the altar will make quick work of those. You've got tons of extra money from the animal fair. Um, turn four. So, depending on what your line is, there's a lot of different lines here. And as I said, you may want to do something slightly different as player two, um, and try to high roll it a little bit if you're worried that you have a huge disadvantage. And donate boards, you have a huge, huge disadvantage as player two. Um, let me switch and see if, if the other player here had a different seed. I can I can even show what that looks like. Yeah, so this is the turn one donate line, I'm very certain. Um, and we just want to leave ourselves with enough money to do something. Yeah, so we can buy a fortress this turn. And then we buy an animal fair this turn. And now we can get ourselves an altar, even without um, doing anything. Um... I think this is like Alter Curse into Lab, buy another Animal Fair. This is slightly, slightly annoying, but we can get, get another, we can get a market now. In Fortress. And we're like pretty happy here to take, um, I'm even taking two King's Courts now. Um, and we want to grab another Lab. And another King's Court. And we'll start by King's Court and King's Court and Lab. King's Court, King's Court, Market, Market, Market. Fortress, Fortress. Now we get rid of all the curses. And um, our deck just completely takes off here. Um, and this is turn nine. So we are basically having our mega turn turn 10 like we did. Like we did last game, pretty much. Um, maybe even a little bit behind. Um, just due to some awkward awkward draws on turn 8, for example. Um, and turn 6. But as player 2, I'd be pretty happy to take this in. And with a human player also gaining labs, fortresses, markets, king sports, you have to watch the three piles a lot more carefully. Um, so you've got to play around that. But um, that's the idea here. And I can even show generally what that'll look like. I think we just grab two King's Courts now and three Animal Fairs and hope to collide stuff in the top of the next shuffle. I guess we triple all of that. And yeah, so very likely we can three pile on something here again. Um, I'm pretty happy to trash stuff into labs. Empty the lab pile. And then we triple triple all of these. Um, and uh, yeah, 
Um, so I have a little bit of money here. I have 60. So we'll go ahead and just buy all the provinces and some estates, and then we'll buy out the animal fairs just for good measure. Uh, you know, don't do this against a human opponent, but against the bot, they don't mind if you flex on them a little bit. Okay, so that was turn 10, and I just bought out four piles, basically, uh, and all the provinces. So that is the power of King's Court. Um, so this is a turn 10 win either way. Now, as I said, with, with the other seed, player one, I think, wins on their turn 10 before player two gets a turn 10. But player one also has to be concerned about player two doing the same thing on turn nine if they've lowered um, Animal Fairies Labs and the curses will be very low. Um, I also think I took most of the curses there myself. Um, eh. Yeah, if both players are playing an engine, the curse pile would empty faster. I must have taken like seven curses myself, whereas, whereas my opponent didn't. So the, the curse pile empties faster, Animal Fairies activate plus five faster. So that's a really fun and interesting kingdom. Thank you to the person who submitted that. And hopefully you enjoy these coaching videos.